My name's Lynn Lightfoot. Uh, I'm 65 years old. I work as a nurse in the emergency department at Sadie Side Hospital. I live in Pittsburgh. I've lived in Pittsburgh, around Pittsburgh all of my life. I was in Monroeville, Pennsylvania. I, I, I wasn't at Woodstock or anything like that. I was just back home, uh, heard about it, I guess on TV, and a little bit about it on the news. I had just gotten out of the service and I was looking for a job. It was like August of 69, I think is when it was. So that, that's where I was at that time. I don't, it, it, it has more of an impact looking back on it now because I think historically it sort of marks the end of the hippie era, which was probably been over for a long time. But that was, that, I get that was the peak of, of hippiedom. And uh, the music and the musicians I still listen to a lot. Uh, Jimi Hendrix and uh, groups like that. Jefferson Airplane. I don't know if it really, I wasn't ever a hippie, so I don't know if, if it had much of an impact on me. I think in retrospect, I don't think we realized what a big deal it was going to be. I think if we had, a lot more people would have gone and, and actually showed up, but I had no idea that it was going to be as big as it would be someday. So no, I hadn't thought about going. I, I was opposed to it. Um, I just felt that it was, well, th my best friend was sort of left wing, so I, I got a lot of my ideas from him, but it just seemed like a bad idea. It seemed like it was more, it was a losing cause, but uh, I never really changed my opposition to the war, but I joined the army to go to Vietnam because I just wanted to see what it was like firsthand. Yeah, it was probably the single biggest, that year was the single biggest uh, event of my life. It was, uh, uh, a lot of my attitudes toward people in politics and the military, you know, were, were formed by uh, that experience in Vietnam, and I carry them with me still, and I guess always will. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't trust politicians, and I think a lot of people feel that way, but. It's, it gets tricky because you, I you don't think you can even trust them when they're trying to do what they think is right. Uh, I think that there might have been some good intentions behind Vietnam, but it worked out rather badly. And that's colored my opinion of all, most military involvement since then, including some that turned out pretty well, like uh, intervening in Bosnia and maybe the first Iraq war. But at my first initial Impulse is always to say, no, don't go, it's not worth it, because I just don't trust them to, uh, uh, I, I, I kind of feel they're going to start making mistakes like they did in Vietnam. That's part of the primary uh, thing that I take with me. I, uh, I kind of judge people, too, by imagining if they were with me in an army platoon, how, how they would react. And, so that is, that's the part of the two main things that I carry with me from that era.